Hello everyone, once again welcome to MPLS series. Guys, in this video of MPLS, we are going to understand Inter-Autonomous MPLS VPN Option C. Till now, we, we discussed Option A, Option B and today you will understand Option C. First of all, before starting Option C configuration and discuss, uh, discussion on Option C, let me make you understand the difference between Option A, Option B and Option C. Guys, in Option B, we configured many VRF on daughter number 4 and daughter number 5, like on daughter number 4 and daughter number 5. If we have two customer, we need to create two VRF on daughter number 4 and daughter number 5 and sub interface as well. And this is disadvantage of option A because if you have 100 number of customer, you need to create 100 VRF on daughter number 4 and daughter number 5 and you need to create 100 sub interface between daughter 4 and daughter 5, right? This is advantage of option, disadvantage of option A. After that, we come up with option B. In option B, we configure VPN between daughter 4 and daughter number 5. Here, uh, we had configured VPN between daughter 4 and daughter 5. Router 1 was advertising VPN V4 prefix to daughter number 4. Router 4 was advertising VPN V4 prefix to daughter number 5. And daughter 5 was advertising VPN V4 prefix to daughter number 8. In the same way, when daughter 8 was advertising VPN V4 prefixes, of these two customer to router number 5. Router number 5 was advertising those prefixes in the form of VPN V4 to router number 4 and router 4 was advertising that to router number 1. This is option B. In option B we discuss many method like next stop self on router number 4 and router number 5 we configure next stop self we configure redistribution method and we also see that how to configure option B when we have multiple link between router 4 and router 5. But in all scenario we configure here VPN between daughter 4 and daughter 5 and in option C we will configure VPN between route reflector to route reflector like between daughter 2 to router number 6 we will configure directly VPN and guys option C is the best for inter autonomous MPLS VPN because here we are going to configure route reflect uh, sorry uh, VPN between route reflector between router 2 to router 6 we will configure one VPN so what will happen router 1 will advertise VPN V4 prefix to router number 2 and router 2 is directly going to advertise VPN V4 prefix to router number 6 and then router 6 will advertise it to router number 8 getting my point so this is best option and this is easy to configure and easy to manage as well right because here we don't need to configure vpn on between daughter 4 and daughter 5 we don't need to configure vrf we don't need to configure sub interfaces between router daughter 4 and daughter number 5 that's why most of the time in real time also you will see we are using option c for inter autonomous mpls VP, vpn okay now question is question is if you want to configure vpn between router 2 and router 6 then first of all you have to make reachability between router 2 and router 6 let's say here i am running one loopback 2.2.2.2 and on router number 6 i am running one loopback 6.6.6.6 .6 so first of all 2.2.2 and 6.6.6 .6 should be able to uh, ping each other then only we can form bgp neighborship right so first of all we will make reachability between these two loopback interface or you can say bit reachability between loopback route reflector to route reflector router 2 is route reflector uh, in isp1 and router 6 is route reflector in isp2 okay so this time this time in option c we are not going to configure bgp between router 2 and router 4 and router 6 and router number 5 here we don't need bgp so that's why guys i have removed the configuration of router number 2 router number 4 router number 5 and router number 6 and rest routers configuration are exactly same so that's why i have already run all the command on router number 1 9 10 3 or 7 8 11 12 okay so first of all let me show you the configuration of this router like here is console on router number one you can see i have already configured everything so ip vrf so we have two vrf vrf a1 and b1 okay here so ip ospf interface brief so OSPF is also you can see enabled on uh, loopback one interface and fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and fast ethernet 1 slash 0 and so MPLS interface 
so you can see mpls is also enabled on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and fast ethernet 1 slash 0 right so this is configuration of router number one and the same way router 9 is configured i have already configured router number 9 and router number 10 because of this you can verify the bgp table of router number one so bgp vpn v4 unicast all so it is receiving the uh, these two prefix okay in bgp table in the same way we can verify the configuration on router number eight like on router number eight so bgp vpn v4 unicast all router eight is also receiving these two prefix right this is prefix of site two of customer a this is prefix of site two of customer b okay now it will advertise router one will advertise this prefix to their neighbor so bgp vpn v4 unicast all summary okay and who is the neighbor of router number eight 6.6.6.6 6.6 but this neighbor is you can see idle and these two neighbor means router number 11 and router number 12 is working fine okay because i have removed the configuration of router number six okay and now i am going to configure router number two router number six router number four and router number five. First of all let me show you the configuration as i told you that now we are not going to configure bgp neighborship between router two and router six and router two and router four and router six and router five so let me show you the new configuration on router number two okay so here is the configuration of router 2 host name r2 mpls label range this is the ip configuration okay and we have one loop back 2.2.2 .2 .2. then this is ospf configuration and mpls configuration then router bgp 65000 router bgp 65000 and neighbor 1.1.1.1 remote air 65000 neighbor 1.1.1.1 update source loop back one vpn v4 uh neighbor 1.1.1 activate and neighbor 1.1.1 dot reflector client so this is bgp configuration between daughter one and daughter two only bgp neighborship between daughter one and daughter two only and later on we will configure bgp between router two and router six okay first of all let me copy this configuration of router two and let me paste in the console of r2 here If you are watching my all video of inter-autonomous uh, MPLS VPN in series, then you can get everything. Otherwise, maybe it will, you know, uh, difficult to understand the configuration of each router for you. Okay, I have pasted the configuration. Now let me verify the BGP neighborship. And here you can see the log message. Here LDP neighborship, here BGP neighborship. Now I am going to directly check BGP table. So BGP VPN V4 unicast all. So you can see router 2 have received this prefix. Okay, that is fine. Now the next router configuration is router 4 configuration. On router number 4, we are not going to configure BGP for now. BGP for now. So this is IP configuration. This is IP configuration ip configuration then we have ospf configuration and i am going to copy configuration till here only of router number four let me copy it and let me paste it on router number four config t and paste the configuration here on fast ethernet 2 slash 0 i have defined ip address 45.1.1.4 okay okay ldp neighborship okay fine here we are not running bgp so bgp vpn v4 unicast all no bgp is not active now let me move to next router configuration that is router number six configuration on router number six also you can see this these are the ip configuration this is IS, IS configuration and this is BGP configuration. Router BGP 65000 and neighbor 8.8.8, .8 .8, remote AS 65000, neighbor 8.8.8, .8 .8, update source to back one and address family VPN v4, 8.8.8, .8 .8, activate 8.8.8, .8 .8, router reflector client. So I have, go, I am going to configure BGP neighborship between router 8 and router 6 only. So let me copy the configuration of router 6 and let me paste over here in the console of r6 
okay now we are expecting yeah you know vp and v4 prefix in the bgp table of router number 6 these two prefix which router 8 is advertising to router number 6 let me check so bgp vp and v4 unicast all yes router 6 have received these two prefix right and it will not advertise to router number 4 and router 2 is not going to advertise sorry router 6 is not going to advertise these two prefix to router number 5 because we don't have bgp neighborship now between router 5 and router 6 and we don't have bgp neighborship between router 2 and router 4 also so router 2 is not going to advertise it to router number 4 directly we will exchange this vpn v4 prefix with between route reflector means router 6 is going to advertise these two vpn v4 prefix directly to router number 2 right but first of all we will configure vpn then only it will advertise so let me show you guys configuration okay so i have configured the router 6 on router number 6 we have these two vpn v4 prefix and on router number 2 also we have two vpn v4 prefix now next configuration is configuring configuring um, uh, making the reachability between 2.2.2 and 2.2.2 and 6.6.6 .6. so to make reachability between 2.2.2 and before that i should configure router number 5 also so this is configuration of router number 5 let me copy the configuration of router 5 also similar the configuration is similar like configuration of router 4 here i am running isis this is only difference let me copy this part of configuration and let me paste this part of configuration in the console of R5. Paste. Very good. Here I have not configured any BGP. Now, now our concern is to make reachability between 2.2.2 and 6.6.6. .6. Guys, see, router 4 have 2.2.2. .2 .2 yes through ospf router 4 have 2.2.2 .2 so ip route ospf through ospf it have learned 2.2.2 .2 right and router number 5 have router number 5 have so ip route isis here i am running isis protocol so through isis router 5 have this network 6.6.6.6 .6 .6 .6 .6 .6 .6 .6 okay so router 4 have 2.2.2 .2 and router 5 have 6.6.6 .6. we need to exchange these two prefix between router 5 and router 6 so we are going to configure normal bgp between router 4 and router 5 normal bgp and see how we are going to configure bgp let me take you to the configuration of router 4 router number 4 here is the configuration see first i will create one prefix list in the prefix list i am defining the ip address which i i need to advertise with router number 5 see router 4 need to advertise 2.2.2 to router 4 to router 5 and router 5 need to advertise 6.6.6.6 .6 to router number 4 so here on router number 4 i am going to create one access control list and i will permit 2.2.2.2 slash 32 right and then i can create one route map uh, and in that route map i will match the ip address from the prefix list in prefix list ip address is 2.2.2.2 .2 right and then router bgp 65000 and neighbor uh, neighbor is 45.1.1.5 first of all let me configure normal bgp neighborship between router 4 and router 5 here i am going to configure normal bgp between router 4 and router 5 here say router bgp 65000 on router number 4 and i am going to say neighbor 45.1.1.5 and remote as is your remote as is 65001 right after that on router number 5 i am going to say router bgp 65001 and neighbor 45.1.1.4 and remote as is 65,000. BGP neighborship will come up. Wait for some time. BGP neighborship will come up between router 4 and router number 5. Yes. Now you can see the BGP neighborship. Now I need to exchange, you know, router 4 need to, I need to exchange two prefix only. 
right one prefix router 4 is going to need to advertise to router 5 and one prefix router 5 need to advertise to router number 4 only one prefix right 6.6.6 .6 and 2.2.2 .2. so on router number 4 i am going to create one prefix list ip prefix list and then we can give the name to prefix list any name let me say name is ip prefix list and then name we can say name is let's say a and uh, then permit and which prefix you want to advertise here 2.2.2.2 slash 32 right then i am going to create one route map route map and let's say name of route map is double a permit 10 and then i am going to say match ip address from prefix list a so it will match 2.2.2 .2 right and then i am going to again redistribute this in bgp a router bgp 65000 and here i am going to say redistribute ospf process 1 and use route map double a that's it so what will happen router 4 will advertise redistribute only 2.2.2 .2 in bgp right and now i am going to check on router number 5 that router 5 have received 2.2.2 .2 .2 or not so ip route bgp so yes router 5 have received 2.2.2 .2. in the same way here also i am going to create one prefix list ip prefix list and name is let's say a here also and permit here IP address is network is 6.6.6 slash .6 .6 32 and say route map route map double A permit 10 and I am going to say match IP address from prefix list prefix list A right and then say router BGP 65001 65001 and redistribute ISIS because 6.6.6 .6 .6 is available in the routing table of ISIS. So redistribute ISIS and use route map, route map, double A, right? Route map name is yes double A. Okay, and that's it. Now let me check on router number four. Router four have received 6.6.6 .6 .6 or not? So IP route so ip route bgp so yes it have received 6.6.6 .6 .6 through bgp right so we have exchanged 2.2.2 .2 and 6.6.6 .6 between router 4 and router 5 now let me check one thing that router 2 have received 6.6.6 .6 .6 or not so router 6 so ip route in their routing table yes 2.2.2 .2 is available right 2.2.2 .2 .2. okay uh, sorry 2 not 2.2.2 dot dot, 6.6.6 dot six dot six should be here 6.6.6.6 .6 it have not received 6.6.6 .6. why router 2 is not receiving 6.6.6 .6? because here I, I we are not running bgp between router 2 and router number 4 so we need to redistribute now bgp into ospf here on router number 4 so let me run one more command on router number 4 we need to run one more command here router bgp router sorry ospf process one and i am going to say redistribute bgp as number 65000 and then subnet that's it now if you will check r2 routing table so there should be 6.6.6 .6. just wait for some time it will receive 6.6.6 .6. yes you can see it have received 6.6.6 .6. this is external prefix okay in the same way on router number 5 also we need to redistribute bgp into isis protocol so router isis and then redistribute bgp 65001 and now we can check router number 6 routing table router 6 should receive 2.2.2 .2 so ip route so yes you can see this this router router number 6 is receiving 2.2.2 .2 now i am going to check connectivity between 2.2.2 .2 and 6.6.6.6 so from router number 2 i am going to let's say ping 6.6.6.6 and say source is 2.2.2.2 
yes there is reachability and now we can configure a vpn between router 2 and router number 6 so here is the configuration of vpn let me copy the configuration directly here you can see configuration of vpn on router number 2 we are going to run router bgp 65000 neighbor 6.6.6.6 .6 .6 .6 .6 remote as 65000 one neighbor 6.6.6 .6 .6, update source loop back one and neighbor 6.6.6 .6 .6 ebgp multi hope let's say 10 you can configure any value and then add this family vpn v4 neighbor 6.6.6 .6 .6 activate this is the configuration of router number two let me copy it and uh, let me paste this configuration in the console of r2 here we have configured this type of bgp many times that's why we are not going to discuss much and again we have configuration of router number six same configuration you can see router bgp 65001 neighbor 2.2.2 .2 .2 remote as 65000 and neighbor 2.2.2 .2 .2 update source to back one neighbor 2.2.2 .2 ebgp multi hope 10 and uh, address family vpn v4 neighbor 2.2.2 .2 activate that's it let me paste this con this configuration on router number six and after running this command we will expect one bgp neighborship between router 2 and router 6 now we are expecting one bgp neighborship between two router 2 and router number 6 yes you can see the bgp neighborship okay and now if you will check bgp table of router number 6 so bgp vpn v4 unicast all so here you can see router 6 have received this network 192.168.1.0 and who have advertised it next stop is 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2 and 172.160 sorry 16.1.0 from 2.2.2 .2 so router 6 have received two vpn v4 prefix from their neighbor 2.2.2 .2 and in the same way router number 2 will also have two prefix from router number 6 so bgp vpn v4 unicast all here you can see it have received this network 192.168.2.0 from 6.6.6 .6 and 172.16.2.0 from 6.6.6 .6. okay and now on router number 1 and on router number 8 finally we are going to verify the route so bgp vpn v4 unicast all here also we are able to see all prefixes right and on router number 8 so bgp vpn v4 unicast all here also we are able to see all prefixes right and now i am going to very check the uh, customer age router like router number 9 that router number 9 have received other side of network or not so ip route so router 9 have also received this network 192.168.2.0 side 2 prefix right and router number 10 so ip route yes router 10 have also received this network you can see fine and router number 11 so ip route router 11 have also received one prefix through bgp 192.168.1.0 and router number 12 so ip route right this router have also received one prefix through bgp and now i am going to verify the connectivity right control plane is done we don't have any problem in control plane all customer age routers are receiving other side of prefix right so control plane is working fine let me check data plane ping 192.168.168.2.1 and say source is 192.168.1.1 so we have problem in data plane you can see uh, router 9 is not able to ping means side 1 of customer A is not able to ping side 2 of customer A means same side 1 of customer A is not able to ping side 1 of customer A side 2 of customer A so we have problem in data plane so why we have problem guys let me tell you one thing on router number four actually router number four what is happening when router number one will receive traffic from router number nine it will receive on fast ethernet two slash zero this is mem this is member of uh, vrf a1 
right it will check the routing table of vrf a1 and after that it will forward as you know labeled packet it will forward labeled packet to router number 2 router 2 will forward the labeled packet to router number 4 and on router number 4 on router number 4 so mpls forwarding table so mpls forwarding table destination we are not able to see any you know 192.168.2.0 network here 192.168.2.0 network let me follow the packet it will be easy for you see what is happening what will happen when router let me 9 will generate traffic source ip will be 192.168.1.1 and destination ip will be 192.168.2.1 right router 1 will add two label as you know router 1 will add two label router 1 will add two label so bgp vpn vpn v4 unicast all and 192.168.2.0255.255.255.0 this is vpn vpn label 606 606 this will be the inner label 606 and after that there will be one outer label so next stop is next stop is 2.2.2.2 next stop is 2.2.2.2 it will check routing table so ip route in the routing table for 2.2.2 sorry so ip saf 2.2.2.2 and what is the next hop let me check once again here so bgp vpn v4 unicast all see this prefix is reachable via 6.6.6.6 6.6.6.6 not 2.2.2.2 right on router number one this prefix is reachable via 6.6.6.6 .6 which is available in global routing table so it will check sap table so ip saf and 6.6.6.6 slash 32 to find the label so there is two label let's say there is only one level that is let's say 305 right because as you know router one is performing load balancing let's say there is only one path or 204 so let's say outer label is 204 or you can use any level 204 after that it will forward the packet from fast ethernet 1 slash 0 means to router number 2 when router 2 will receive this when router 2 will receive this router 2 will receive labeled packet so router 2 is going to check mpls forwarding table so mpls forwarding table in mpls forwarding table it will compare the outer label top level 204 204 is the here local label so it will swap the level to 404 and it will forward the traffic to 6.6.6.6 .6 so first of all it will swap the label what will be the label here 404 404 after that 404 and then it will forward the traffic to 6.6.6.6 .6 .6 .6 to forward traffic to 6.6.6 .6 exit interface is fast ethernet 1 slash 0 next stop is router number 4 so it will forward the traffic router 2 will forward the traffic to router number 4 what router 4 will do router 4 is receiving labeled packet so it will check their mpls forwarding table in their mpls forwarding table for local label 600 404 404 we there is no label no outgoing label for this local label local label 404 there is no label means it will remove all label why it will remove all label because router 5 have not received have not sent any label with this prefix 6.6.6.6 .6 .6 .6 .6. Router 5 have not sent any label to router number 4. So this is problem. Here router 4 is removing all label. This top label also and inner label also. Because router 5 have not sent any label uh, to router number 4 for 6.6.6.6. .6 .6 .6 .6. Router 5 have advertised this network 6.6.6.6 .6 .6 .6 .6 to router number 4 but it have not sent any label right in the same way router number two have advertised router four have advertised 2.2.2 to router number five but it have not sent any label 
so we can tell to router number 4 and router number 5 please send label so this is the reason why and devices are not able to communicate so on router number 4 just i need to run one command router bgp 65000 here we can say 65000 then address family ipv4 address family ipv4 say neighbor 45.1.1.5 and send label send label send label and on router number 5 also i am going to run this command router bgp 65001 and we can say neighbor 45.1.1.4 send label done after that after that now if you will check router 4 MPLS forwarding table so MPLS forwarding table so now you can see for 404 there is one label for 404 local there is one label 505 so this time what router 4 will do this time router 4 will swap the label it will set level 505 and it will forward the traffic to router number 5 when router 5 will receive it router 5 will also receive label packet so it will check MPLS forwarding table so MPLS forwarding table in the MPLS forwarding table it will compare local level this one for this pop the level it will remove the outer level and it will forward the traffic to 45.1.1.4 45.1.1.4 sorry here label is different I think pop the label and from fast ethernet 0 slash 0 on router number 4 label is 500 not 505 label is 500 500 now router 5 is receiving uh, you know prefix with label 500 local level 500 so when local level 500 here local level 500 means forward the traffic to 6.6.6 .6 on router number 4 I am on router number 4 sorry on router number 5 you will check MPLS forwarding table here is level 500 for 500 level pop the label it will remove the outer level and it will forward the traffic to 6.6.6.6 .6 it will remove the top label and there is one level only 606 and it will forward the traffic to 6.6.6 .6 from which interface from fast ethernet 1 slash 0 when router 6 will receive this traffic what router 6 will do router 6 is also receiving labeled packet so it will it will check mpls forwarding table so router 6 will check mpls forwarding table so mpls forwarding table in mpls forwarding table local level is 606 and you can see outgoing level is 801 and this is vpn v4 prefix we need to forward it to 68.1.1.8 it will swap the label to 801 it will swap the label to 801 801 and it will forward the traffic to router number 8 and router number 8 will check router number 8 will check their MPLS forwarding table so MPLS forwarding table for 801 you can see we don't have any label no label means remove the label and forward the traffic to forward the traffic to 81.1.1.11 means to router number 11 so router 8 is going to forward the traffic to router number 11 and in the same way now reply will come up now let me check the connectivity i think now it should ping ping should work yes now you can see ping is working right so only one more command you need to add that is uh neighbor on router number 4 neighbor 45.1.1.5 send label okay and let me check the connectivity from router number 10 also ping 172.16.2.1 and say source is 172.16.2.1 sorry 1.1 so yes ping is working okay guys so this is how to configure inter autonomous mpls vpn option c option c is the best option it is easy to configure and most of the time we are using this option only now that's all for today if you uh, learn something from this video please hit on like button okay guys bye bye we will meet in next video till then stay safe